Hey guys, Brady here. If you guys don't know what flick chart is, I'm about to do my I'm about to do my top favorite my top twenty favorite nineties films of all time. And so uh um I went to Flick Chart, uh found uh my top twenty favorite nineties films on this uh uh what's it called? Whatever it's called, um, on the website, like, they tell you, you could rank by, like, anything. But anyway, so, uh, it's hard to explain, but this is my top 20 favorite 90s films of all time. Now, I'm going to start from 20, and I'm going to get down to 1. So, some of these, some of these are going to be, like, uh, yeah, I agree with you, these are, these are great movies. Some of them are going to be, like, really? But, um, the first, uh, number 20, Universal Soldier. Um, I know that people do not like this director that much, Roland Emmerich, but, uh, I, lo I love his movies. He, he does g good movies, um, but, yeah. Universal Soldier, this was decent. One of my favorites of his. Next, I got his, um, not Spielberg's best film. It came out in the early 90s, but, um, it's Hook. Um... I enjoyed this movie not as much as his others. It's not his best work, but it's still uh, fun to watch and stuff. Next, I got his uh, Mission Possible, which is directed by Brian De Palma, who uh, directed Scarface. is a must see movie but uh mission possible i like this one this is one this is uh my uh first favorite and then next is uh mission possible 4 2 and 3 i did not care for that much i did not like 2 and 3 but mission possible uh really good spy action film if you like tom cruise you'll like this movie that's all i got to say next i got is the only movie from 1997 in this uh video Titanic and um I was born in 1997 and so this is so basically this this movie is the same same age as I am it's 15 years old and uh well it's gonna be 16 soon but uh yeah I I saw this in the in theaters when uh when they re-released it in 3D uh two years well since 2013 lat April of last year and, uh, I really liked it. Um, I saw it Mr. Family Guy, one fan and another friend of mine. And, uh, I just really enjoyed it. I didn't think I'd like it as much as I did. Considering how I did not want to see it, uh, because of how long it was. And then I was like, you know what? I'm, I might give it a try. I might give it a try. Next I got is Tommy Boy. Um, this movie... Is a hysterical movie. Too bad uh, Billy Madison didn't make it in my top twenty favorite nineties nineties movies of all time. But uh, yeah, but Tommy Boy is really funny. If um, if you like Chris Farley and David Spade, you'll love this movie. It's hysterical. Next, I got is a uh, classic Disney film, and it is The Lion King. Now, most of my movies are from nineteen ninety four in this. The next couple of movies are going to be from 1994. Like the next one, two, three. Three movies are from 1994. I don't know why. It's just random. But, uh, I like The Lion King. A classic Disney film. Um, I saw it when it released in 3D uh, back in 2011. Actually, it was a couple of days before my birthday when they re released it in 3D. And, uh, my friend and his mom took me to go see it. And, uh, I really liked it. <clears throat> Next I got is True Lies, which I can't believe they don't have a Blu-ray for this yet. They should... Next year they should release the Blu-ray for it since it'll be 20 years since it's... Uh, since it's been around, see? I mean, they should also release, um... The, the Abyss on Blu-ray already, because... That's... 
you'd think that James Cameron would have a lot, mo most of his movies on Blu-ray. Especially this. This is, this should be on Blu-ray. It looked like it'd be great on Blu-ray. But, I don't know. This is my grandma's favorite movie. She loves this movie, my grandma. And, um, I liked it. I like it too. I found this in the $5 bin at Walmart. And, uh, so yeah. I'm not sure if it's still in the $5 bin because I got it, uh, a year or two ago, but yeah. Next, I got is uh, apparently one of my favorite Jim Carrey movies of all time, and it's Ace Ventura: Pet Detective. This this movie is funny. I love it. I um the first the second one is also funny, but this one is the one to see if you like Jim Carrey. This this is the one to see. It's funny, and yeah. And look, look at all the critic review on the back. Critics reviews on the back, and it's like one, two, three, four. It's hysterical. Uh, worth, it's worth seeing. If you love Jim Carrey. Now, next I got. I might upgrade this to Blu-ray, maybe, but I might keep this set. It's Forrest Gump. I got this at some weird store in uh when I went to L.A. a couple years ago, and um. And, uh, they, it was like some weird video store and music store. It's kind of like an FYE, uh, sort of. Um, but the, all, like, all the movies were, like, upstairs, and I found this. And it's in, like, this big case. I don't know why. But, um, I think that next year they're going to be releasing a 20th anniversary since this movie is 19 right now. But, uh... Yeah, this this is one of Tom Hanks' greatest movies, but not my favorite of his. I've got two others and that I liked, and uh, yeah, not my favorite Tom Tom Hanks movie. It's one of my favorites though. My top three favorite Tom Hanks movies. But yeah, this is this won six Academy Awards. It deserves it. I wouldn't really categorize. Uh, categorized it as comedy, but it's really emotional. This is more of like a comedy drama, or dramedy, as you call it. But it's it's still fun. To, it's not fun to see, but it's still good to watch. It's enjoyable. Next, I got is one of my favorite movies of 1999.